Greetings aviation lovers, welcome back to the Basic Tech Channel. This time we will discuss how much ammunition can the F-22 Raptor carry. The F-22 Raptor is an advanced fighter aircraft developed by Lockheed Martin for the United States Air Force. This aircraft has extraordinary capabilities in various aspects, including maneuverability, speed, and avionics systems. Specifically, the F-22 Raptor can carry up to 4,800 pounds, approximately 2,182 kilograms, of weapons and fuel in its four internal fuel chambers. Although there is no precise information regarding the amount of ammunition it can carry, the aircraft is equipped with various types of weapons, including air-to-air -air missiles, bombs, and other precision weapons. Four medium-range AIM-120C air-to-air missiles are stored in the F-22's internal armament compartment. The range of these missiles is 105 kilometers. Once they are fully operational with the U.S. Air Force, more potent AIM-120D missiles with a range of about 160 kilometers and improved guidance will probably be used. AIM-9M Sidewinder missiles were initially employed by the F-22 for close quarters aerial combat. These missiles can have up to four carriers. These were eventually superseded by the AIM-9X missiles of the next generation. In 2016, these missiles were integrated. It's interesting to note that the F-22 was the final American fighter plane equipped with AIM-9X missiles. Since the early 2000s, these missiles have been utilized by other U.S. fighter aircraft. The GPS-guided JDAM bomb, also known as the Joint Direct Attack Munition, Joint Direct Attack Munition in Indonesian, has both laser and inertial guidance capabilities. This particular Boeing bomb is an air-to-surface bomb, meaning it is dropped by fighter aircraft or light bombers. The computer controls the control fins at the end of the bomb as it approaches its target. This kind of bomb has a one or two meter theoretical chance of missing its target. This kind of bomb works best against immovable ground targets, such enemy defense bunkers, medical facilities, supply and weaponry stockpiles, and hostile communications infrastructure.